you didn't build your business. Obamacare cuts your price. It's all lies. It's all lies. Bloomberg came out a few months ago and said, I'm the biggest Second Amendment supporter in the world. I don't want to take your guns. They banned guns in New York City. He wants a gun ban. They're liars. But I don't understand why they... They lie so much. What is the point of it? Why do we put up with it? They have a method of this to just shut us down, to condition us to where we'll put up with anything. They're getting us ready for something big. That's why I'm getting freaked out here. They're acting like they don't care how bad they are, that nothing can stop them. And I don't know if that's because they're crazy completely and out of their minds, like crazy people I've known in business and life. Or whether they got some trick up their sleeve or both. I mean, it's just so dangerous, people. All the top analysts say the world is in the most dangerous position now it's ever been in. And you can feel it. Not just intellectually or militarily or geopolitically look at it. You can feel it. And it's because we got demons in charge. And it's a lot bigger than Obama. Let's go to Patrick in Kentucky. You're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Patrick, I, I don't get any audio from you. You going to talk to us, brother? Yeah, so I was going to talk about the GCHQ program, Squeaky Dolphin. Yeah, that's the British the, uh, version of the NSA. Yep. Yep. And then in the NSA, they've got contact chaining where they can go three hops to, to see communications amongst people. So between those two programs, they can keep their, they can understand the, they know the entire network of all the jihadi groups because they run most of them. Yes, yes, they know. They could have stopped 9-11, all of this stuff. It's pure bull. Is that what you're getting at? They also know the opinions of the general public. So if this seems like a flimsy case for war, they have their finger on the pulse of the planet, and they know exactly how to proceed, what messaging to use in order to achieve their end goals. That's right. That's the key to the NSA Crystal Ball Palantir program. And I don't mean that in the Palantir NSA program itself, even though it's Palantir, the pun is intended. It's a literal Palantir because they can then practice their lies and see what's working. And it's, it's the equivalent of missile guidance in a sidewinder versus a Welsh longbow for their lies. They now have the nuclear option of lies. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, exactly. They they have when when people talk about metadata and that, that they downplay that as it's not important, you can actually map out the interactions of people all over the planet and you'd know exactly sentiment and opinions, likes, dislikes, all of that is aggregated and it's available in simple dashboard formats so that executives can see exactly how their messaging is going, how people are reacting. And if, if it seems like this is a half-baked strategy, it might be because it is, because they just have to improvise and react to what their, what their analysts tell them is, is the attitude. I was about to it. say, just because 60% of the American people are in a coma doesn't mean they can start a nuclear war with Russia. It doesn't suspend the laws of physics. It doesn't mean that morally it will come out later that they funded al-Qaeda. They're not going to get away with this new lie, and they lose more credibility each time they do this. So so if they're looking at the algorithms currently, they can see the bigger algorithm that I can look at just analyzing it daily with my electrochemical computer between my ears and see that they're losing credibility. That's why I'm saying it's such a dangerous strategy. I, I, this, is, this is how I would destroy Western power. This is how I would bring down the West, what they're doing right now, L just openly losing the moral high ground, bleeding out in front of everyone. What do you think the grand strategy is? It's really in the end game to take over the world using Western muscle, then demonize us in the process, bring us down for the formation of the world government on its ashes. I, I think so. I, I would speculate a, a more concrete plan uh, underneath that is that the petrodollar has to remain dominant. And so so I think that's part of the, the end objectives here is, is to make sure that we don't lose the status of the, the U.S. dollar as a, a, you know, a reserve currency. And that's why we're in bed with the Middle East, right? These, these people over there, 
that's our ticket to make sure that, that oil backs up the dollar since we got rid of the gold standard. Yes, you're right, but then it's schizophrenic because they carry out policies that actually destroy the dollar. It's, it's incredible. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. Silverlungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at Silverlungs.com. That's Silverlungs.com. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it lent back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day but it's not just the air outside that's toxic indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air and most americans spend 90 percent of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes there are more than 42 million smokers in the united states well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions and don't forget the fact that six million americans live with pets that they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. What good is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Attention all listeners, are you ready for a free stock market webinar with PillsGang.com? Join us September 13th to 12 noon Eastern for this live PillsGang.com free webinar valued at $75. You'll learn how to protect your principal in this Federal Reserve controlled low interest rate market by identifying moves before they happen. To register, simply go to LearnStocksForFree.com. LearnStocksForFree.com. Or call 877-600-4264. Promo code GCN. 877-600-4264. Promo code GCN. In today's unstable environment, self-protection is critical. Civil unrest, riots, looting, it's happening now, right here in the United States, and your rights are at risk. If passed, H.R. 5344 would ban Level 3 and above body armor. Katie Armor is standing up for you. We offer the most affordable Level 3 body armor on the market. Katie Level 3 armor withstands pistol and rifle hits up to 762 NATO. Get yours at katiearmor.com. That's C-A-T-I armor.com. Katie Armor, come and take it. I wouldn't even call it being speechless. It's beyond that. When I start gibbering, Alex Jones here back live. Thanks for joining us. My brain just can't get around this because I'm informed on the basics that our government is so criminal that the borders are wide open, that citizens are being harassed when they get on airplanes, but the illegals can fly without IDs. It's clearly a criminal takeover. Anybody could see that. And th th even if people are awake, they just have this attitude of fatalism. What are you going to do about it? Let's just go along with it. 
But Thomas Jefferson said the level of tyranny you live under is the exact level you'll put up with. So do you understand the sky is the limit because we don't have any limits. We'll put up with anything. And it's seen as abnormal to be freaked out about Obama just up there on TV lying at levels that make Bill Clinton look like a saint. It's just a wall of lies. How do you even respond to it? I see the grand strategy. It's just completely set the precedent where everything is turned upside down and two plus two equals seven. Just whatever they want it to. I know I keep talking about that and harping on it. It's because it's just, that's what it is. It's just, we're here. It's such a joke. Everyone is in peril. Uh, we're all in danger. Richard in Arizona, you want to talk about Ebola, the Cali drought, and more, uh, that, that, that's fine. I'm more than happy to do that, but I, I wanted to, when I open the phones up, I don't really screen calls, but I said, I want to get your take on funding Al-Qaeda and, and Obama's speech. So really nobody even called in about that. But that's okay. Richard, you want to talk about Ebola? That's pretty darn important. It is becoming a really bad epidemic. Uh, go ahead. All right, Alex, I, I don't mean to be off topic here. I've been trying to reach you on this for a long time. It's all right, brother. You're and on I'll the air. Go ahead. I just noticed nobody's calling in on it. Go thank ahead. you. I, I really appreciate you. And um, Let me just say that I know you don't need more work to do, more to cover, but I have to mention two stories that are being totally covered up and ignored by all the media that I've seen so far and that are really critical. Um, two topics. One is Ebola, and the thing about Ebola is that the government has already proven a, um, a substance that will kill it in their own studies. And they're not only covering it up, but they're blocking private shipments of this material to Africa. And it's clear that the reason they're doing that is so that the planned epidemic can run its course. Well, I know that it's about 93% death if you don't get the right medical treatment. What, 50% is, uh, is fatal, generally, uh, from what I've read, if you don't get uh, you know, proper uh, hospital attention. So there's a lot of things that mitigate it. Are, are, are you saying there's a cure for Ebola? Uh, not exactly. I want to be really precise. And then there's one other point I, I want to make real quick. All right, well, since people don't know what it is, what is it? What is it? Uh, yeah, yeah. It, their own study, the government did the study with 10 part per million nano-sized silver particles. Oh, I knew that. Sure, sure. I've seen the studies that uh, that nano-silver and colloidal silver period uh, has had a big effect on it. I mean, look, the old timers put silver dollars in milk to keep it good down in the root cellar. People put silver dollars on babies' chest and stomachs when they were born. Everybody knows silver is an antibiotic and an antiviral. And uh, you're absolutely right. What was your other point? Yeah, yeah. this was done within the DOD uh, department and totally silenced. And the other thing is uh, the California drought, which threatens the lives of everybody in the country right now and is part of the overall war that al-Qaeda is also part of against humanity. That was entirely engineered, and I have detailed information on that. Well, you, you should write an article about it. I mean, if people write articles with a bibliography, with proof, we'll, we'll publish them to Infowars.com. Send them to show tips. Send them to writers at Infowars.com. Uh, and we'll, our, our great people like Kurt Nemo and others will fact check it. Kurt's really good about that. Uh, that's really where he excels is proofreading other people's stories and approving them or not approving them. We'd love for you uh, to point us in that direction. I'm aware of the studies on silver and Ebola and other uh, issues, uh, bacteria and viruses. Uh, I'm aware of uh, you know, all sorts of uh, information on that front. And, and, and one reason they don't want to use things like silver on bacteria and viruses is because anybody can put out good silver pretty much. So you don't get a Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation vaccine out of that with Monsanto in a partnership. You don't get to vaccinate the world, make $100 billion over a decade on it, and then put Lord knows what as a Trojan horse on top of it. So send us the info, sir, or send us an email with leads, and we will look into it. We've got a great crew in there, like Kurt Nemo and Mikhail Thalen and Adon Salazar and Kit Daniels and so many others that, it, that it's hard to even get to all the news they've put out. But I'm going to read some of those headlines when we come back. 
from PrisonPlanet.com and InfoWars.com. And then uh, get Jerome Corsi on for about 15 minutes, then go back to your calls. Then the fourth hour from the new studios coming up live. We're on the march. The Empire.